Deputy Chief Justice, the Honorable uh, Justice Jokindo wanted to know from me of my personal experience as a draftsman of the original constitution, what our intentions were when we created independent commissions. And uh, my simple straightforward answer is, we were trying to create greater autonomy and functional independence. You will recall elections, for example, were under the Attorney General's office and were under the hands of a person called the supervisor of elections. And that had been uh, n n n not very successful. What did we achieve? The one thing we achieved is that uh, we created uh, independent commissions that do not function in the same way. For example, this commission, the Electoral Commission, the chairman has executive authority because this is one of the very few commissions where the commissioners themselves do some actual uh, work. This is very different from EACC. EACC, the chairmanship is not executive and the commissioners do not do executive work. They cannot determine to charge anybody or to investigate anybody. That is a work done by, uh, by, by, by management. Here, as we have seen, this commission is extremely hands-on. And for that very reason, its chairman has executive power. It is very similar, Milady, to the JSC, the Judicial Service Commission, which in theory is a corporate body. In day-to-day -day functioning, the Chief Justice has executive authority and makes many, many decisions in the name of the JSC, as it should be, because it couldn't be run in any other way. Thank you. Uh, we thank you, the Honorable the AG, Senior Counsel. Um, thank you very much. 